We really are focused on personalized learning. We are demonstrating small group instruction and flexible learning modes. And all of these uh, things put together in TRIO are enhancing the students' um, needs by uh, celebrating their diversity. The personalized learning is really curating personalized learning opportunities. And I think that we are pushing the boundaries. In fact, we're erasing them. In a virtual learning environment, the students are uh, consistently working in synchronous live time with a staff member. Uh, we only adopt asynchronous time when it is consolidating with still supervision happening at the same time. So the digital tools that we use, we you know we are we are working through the guidelines to make sure that we're not uploading data and privacy issues that would be concerning for a child. However, the 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 work that the students are doing in personalized small group instruction is where we have our secret recipe, and it is in those small spaces, the one to one correspondence, where our K to twelve learners are learning. Um, with the supervision of the staff in, in synchronous time. There are often challenges with uh, technology and many of them, uh, like we had mentioned, is about cyber safety and ensuring that students are safe. Um, also the access points for students and making sure that students have creative opportunities. And so the ways that we are trying to manage this is one by providing digital tools to all students those in need with internet have access so we're really removing those barriers uh, we are constantly training uh, both staff and students about cyber security safety online management um, and we're seeing that there are really awesome results with our students being able to safely learn from the online platform We often talk about the rapid change and rapidly needing to uh, enhance our student learnings with these digital tools, but at the same time there is value in working just a little bit slow, uh, teaching students to interact with the technology. Um, you know, we believe and we share in our space that uh, innovation isn't about the bright ideas or the technology or the tools, but it's the people and how we're interacting with it. Um, and so we really are providing uh, a platform, the conditions for students to be creative, to work and play and to make mistakes and have a safe person on the other end to facilitate and guide the instruction. Um, was listening to the few panels that I had a chance to listen to, being surrounded by like-minded individuals, knowing that uh, we cannot take away from the the future and the innovation and the ideas that are coming, we have to embrace it. And learning to hear how individuals are creatively, school boards and ministries and all the different panels that I spoke, how they are embracing that and really changing the mindset and the answer lies in learning a different way to teach. Um, I think that that's really exciting. I can't wait for the rest of today so that I can listen and learn and also share uh, my expertise in the areas of virtual learning.